solve the double inequality or compound inequality. Here we have an inequality that has three pieces involved, something less than or equal to something, less than or equal to something else. So what this means is I need to have this inequality satisfied and that inequality satisfied. So one way to approach this would be to look at the set of x values where this is satisfied, look at the set of x values where that is satisfied, and realize that I need to be in both this and that. So I'd want to take an intersection of the two regions that I found. Another way that we could go ahead and look at this is we could just look at it in one big piece, all right, and leave this as an inequality with a with three parts to it. Um, all our same old tools that we use with two parts, so something over here, something over there, work fine with three parts. I can add something to this, if, as long as I add the same thing here and that inequality is preserved. Well, with three pieces, if I add something here and add something here and add that same something there, then all these inequalities are preserved. If I multiply here and multiply there, as long as it's a positive number, this inequality is preserved. Same here. If I multiply here, multiply there, multiply there, and I multiply by a positive number, these inequalities are preserved. If I multiply by a negative number, well, then just like in this case, the inequality would have to switch direction. Right? So I'd like to deal with it as it is, in th as an inequality with three pieces in it. I have a denominator. Let's get rid of the denominator as our first step. So I'm going to multiply all three sides by positive 2. Multiplying by a positive 2 does not change the direction of the inequalities, because positive 2 is positive. Right. So here I've multiplied each of my three pieces by that positive 2. And what do we get? Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, less than or equal to my 2's cancel there, and I have a 5 minus x less than or equal to 2 times 2 is 4. Now I can go ahead and subtract 5 from all three sides. Negative 5, subtract 5, subtract 5. Negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9, less than 5 minus 5 is 0, so I get a negative x, less than or equal to 4 minus 5 is a negative 1. Now I have this negative sign, let's multiply all three sides by a negative 1. Multiplying or dividing by a negative number, I'm going to have to change the direction of those inequalities. Multiply by negative 1 by a negative 9, I get a positive 9, change the direction of that inequality. Multiply negative x by negative 1, I get a x, change the direction of that inequality. Multiply negative 1 by negative 1, I get a positive 1. So I'm interested, this set is the same as all the x values bigger than or equal to 1, but no bigger than 9. So we could represent that um, with an interval. This is the numbers between 1 and 9, where I get to include both 1 and include 9. So here is my answer.